Let's look at a simple short run production process where there is a fixed input, a stabler, and some variable input, labor. This process consists of two steps, namely folding a document twice and stabling it. The stable document is the output. When there is just one worker doing the job, she has to switch between folding the documents and stabling them. While she is folding the documents, the stabler lays idle. Since in the short run the number of stablers cannot be increased, but the number of workers could be increased, output can be increased by reducing the downtime of the stabler. This can be done by adding more workers, just folding documents. How much output can be increased by adding more workers and at what rate? The production function might look like an S-shape upward sloping curve, labeled here as TP, short for total product. An upward sloping curve indicates that output increases with more variable input, namely labor. The S shape tells us that the rate of output increase changes along the curve. First, the lower part rises at an increasing rate as the slope of its tangents gets steeper. The slope of the tangents is known as the marginal product. MP for short. We can plot the MP curve in the lower panel. Rising marginal product means each additional worker adds more to the total product than the one before. This increasing returns results from dividing labor among the workers, a variable input, and reducing the downtime of the stabler, a fixed input. But this phase of the production function is followed by a phase where output increases at a decreasing rate as the slope of its tangents, namely the marginal product, gets flatter. Falling marginal product means that each additional worker adds less to the total output than the one before. This decreasing returns results from congestion. As the stabler cannot catch up with the folded documents, thus an S-shape TP produces an inverted U-shape MP with increasing returns followed by decreasing returns. This phenomenon of decreasing marginal product following increasing marginal product when an increasing amount of variable input is combined with some fixed input in the short run is known as the law of diminishing returns. It is also known as the law of variable proportions. The law of diminishing returns explains why the short-term marginal cost curve is U-shaped and why the tragedy of the commons occurs in the absence of clearly defined property rights.